Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. One week since I caught my ex. Advice. First I'd like to say my situation was a bit different than most people here. I truly feel for anyone that was married, or had kids, or lived with their SO. From what I've gathered a lot of people are genuinely bad and selfish. If anyone has advice on how to handle feelings, move on, or forgive I'll take basically anything. This is kinda long but I want to ask for some advice and just get my thoughts out. We technically broke up 3 to 4 months ago. She told me she needed some space and all but ended things. I was a mess at first, in my mid-twenties, at a job I didn't love, in a city I didn't love. I was lost, and after three years when the most important person in my life walked away, it was hard obviously. My biggest issue was the months to follow. After three weeks we saw each other for the first time. She came over to talk, I expected her to completely end things right then. We talked, it basically ended with her straddling me and kissing me and me being seduced. It was consensual but I was also really vulnerable at the time. We basically dated for the next three months. My lease was ending and I made a decision I would move home until I decided what I was going to do next. The biggest issue here is that I trusted her. I figured we could stay exclusive and see each other until I left town and then see what happened in the future. She was the one after all that kept saying maybe down the road we can be together and asking me to let her know if I started talking to anyone. Now obviously there was some breadcrumbing there, she would also tell me she loved me, she felt she had made a mistake, she saw a future with me, still wanted sex often, would spend weekends doing romantic things together. Because of all of these things I held on hope thinking that we would be together. Of course everything blew up in my face. Last weekend in town I was staying at her place. I went through her phone, wrong but justified, and found out she had been going on dates with this guy and planning her third date on Monday, literally the day after I left town. This guy wasn't in the picture before we broke up, but apparently she was interested in dating him enough she was willing to lie to me, use me, and have two relationships at the same time. I don't even know if everyone considers this cheating, I can tell you this was my first relationship and I was naive. Remembering that I was madly in love with this girl, if you knew the things she's been saying to me for the past 4 months I think anyone would at least admit what she did was sketchy and selfish. I blew up on her, I'm nice but I blocked her everywhere, wrote her a note, slipped out of the apartment at like 2am to go stay with friends. We've talked, somehow she can still text and call me even though I blocked her number, she says she's sorry and she knows what she did was ducked up. I think she planned on getting everything she wanted and still being able to get back together in the future. The issue is that not only am I extremely hurt but I will never trust her again. Like I legit won't believe a word that comes out of her mouth. The most important thing I can tell others or preach is that if someone wants to be with you, they will move mountains to be with you and they would do nothing to seriously hurt you or compromise their relationship with you. I believed the things she said and granted there was a bunch of uncertainty for both of us with our mental health, our jobs, and having leases that ended at different times but I still know that if she had wanted to be with me we could have very easily made it work. We have enough money and freedom in our jobs to fly across the country or stay with each other, long distance barely matters when you work from home. Like I said I've been home for a week, I've upped my intensity at the gym, I'm journaling, meditating, spending time with old friends and my parents. I am hoping to land a great new job soon in an awesome new city and don't really plan on looking back. Don't get me wrong, I'm still sad. I still think she threw away a perfectly good relationship, I still catch myself thinking about how we could possibly reconcile down the road. But I have decided I will not let her back into my life, I will not ask for more explanations, I will not dwell on my past with her. I know she will continue to reach out in the future but I truly don't care. I'm not ready to date yet but I can't wait for the relationships I will have down the road. 
I know this time around I'll be smarter about my partner. Sorry for ranting but I hope you're all doing well. It sucks and it's hard but people who throw you away don't deserve you in their life. I am in a similar situation. I don't understand how someone gives you false hope that there could be more and lies straight to your face knowing how you feel about them. After all that you've been through with them and knowing what you would do for them. And then they use you and throw you away again, I hope you find someone that will move those mountains for you. I'm hoping that for myself in the future. That's exactly how I feel. Sorry to hear that. Stay strong. The lesson here is that there are bad people in the world, especially when it comes to how they treat others, right? She could have saved me a lot of pain if she just broke up with me from the start. Whenever she saw a new guy or slept with him or whatever it would have hurt, but why did she have to use me? Sex? Loneliness? She actually wants to be with me in the future but figured she could get the best of both worlds. I'll never know but I'll keep being a good person and honest partner and even if I'm single till I'm 50 I'll be satisfied by myself. Feel free to message if you ever need to talk. This story reminds me of the girl I lost my virginity to. Women feel like when you aren't going anywhere they can string you along and see if there is anything they're missing out there in the dating world. I look at my partners as lessons or blessings because when my mind wanders to thinking about an ex I just remind myself of the lesson they taught me and snap back to reality until the pain dissipates. The lesson that girl taught me is once a girl commits and then is uncommitted wanting a break there is no going back one chance per girl per lifetime and I'm upfront about that fact when I ask someone to be committed so when the time comes for them to pull that BS of saying I'm confused I think we just need time apart but I still care or love you I say I'm no one's second choice or backup. Certainly learned that here. It's funny because for whatever reason I thought we were different. I sometimes think that stringing a partner along is often as bad or worse than the betrayal. A lot of people want to sow their wild oats when they are young thinking that one day they can shut it off and just settle down. Then if they're honest with their partner, a quality person won't go near them. If a girl told me she's had 50 partners, I have no desire to be in the same zip code, much less bed. Disease is one reason. I'm very oral is another but the biggest reason is that if someone has had all those experiences, it would be impossible to check all those boxes and I don't just mean physically. You will be compared to almost every single experience. I definitely think it's worse although that may be bias ha ha. I certainly wouldn't be as hurt if she just broke up with me originally and then started this relationship. I am pretty open-minded about people's past and sex lives but there is certainly a limit. Taking a break from me to go be single crosses that line. Especially because in three years if anything I was the one not being satisfied sexually. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I hope someone starts a website so we can at least report these people to a common record so people aren't abused repeatedly and these losers and users will actually choose to stop hurting others. There are plenty of great people out there, you just have to sift through shitty people first lol. Why didn't you text the guy the truth? I just wanted to stay out of it at that point don't need any more drama in my life. Plus even though this a huge deal breaker for me, not sure if he would care that the girl he's been talking to for a month and half was sleeping with and had some sort of relationship with her ex. Semi happy, semi sad update. Update. My ex and I have kind of a complicated story, mostly in that she really ducked me over towards the end. First she broke up with me, then she led me on for 4 months, I was getting ready to move across the country still 100% in love with her and thinking we would get back together, she was dating other guys. So yeah, complicated but mostly because she's a ducking C. Check my previous posts if you want more info. Here we are almost 2 months out from when I figured out what was going on the day before I moved across the country. She texted me here and there and called me once about 5 weeks ago, but we haven't talked since then. I have been doing okay. Some days are hard, some days I don't seem to think about her much. I am still hurt by what she did, can't believe it was the same person I was devoted to for so long. Yesterday she posted something on Instagram on vacation with her new guy. Of course I've heard about it from multiple people, all my friends knew we were still seeing each other at the start of March and now less than 2 months later she's in another country with another guy lol. Again I'm sitting here thinking how are you so ducking stupid? Like everyone we went to college with is aware of the situation and she has all but outed herself to her new BF that she was still seeing me when she started dating him. When I found out, literally the night before their third date, she was crying in my arms begging me to duck her one last time. Part of me wants to text her and tell her she's a ducking moron, part of me wants to text the guy, but I don't really want to be involved in any drama. I suppose some news on what's new in my life recently, I moved from my original city, to my parents house, to a completely new city. I'm on the beach for the first time in my life. I have another interview for an awesome position out here this week I really have to nail but I'm really excited for. Unlucky for me, I have covid, got it on my second day here so I'm basically stuck in my unfinished bedroom lol. It's okay though. Excited to join a gym out here in about a week and start surfing and meeting new people. It sucks this happened. It's really like the first day I've been ripped up all over again. Really sucks that I'm locked in my room with basically nothing to do but watch TV and think about things. That's my semi-happy, semi-sad update. I hope you're all doing okay and getting better day by day. It's like the garbage took itself out. Now is the time to heal yourself. Block her on everything. Wishing you a quick recovery. I agree, I have her blocked everywhere, including her phone number. I have no idea how but she somehow can still text me and call me. I do feel like I dodged the world's biggest bullet, but still it hurts. Any tips for working on yourself? I work out, have been doing great socially, and of course my new living arrangement, but I hate the fact I compare myself to her when I feel down. I haven't moved on yet. It's stupid because I know she's basically hiding behind a mask but it hurts that she gets to date and have sex and spend time with a man and I sit here in my bedroom. Obviously I have to get over covid but I hate that I don't want to rush into a new relationship for my sake and any theoretical women's sake ha ha. Sorry for the delay. Start by reading books lose a cheater, gain a life, cheating in a nutshell. Reconnect with friends online. There is no shame in seeking support. Real friends will support you no matter what. Block her on everything. I mean everything because any further contact will only reset your healing. Think of the years with her as a learning experience. Hope this helps. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers.
Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are,